The emotion starts right now on Mari. Rose truly believes she has psychic power. And those powers say that her husband has been cheating with her own mother. And maybe even men. If this test proves that I was right all along, no, this all but us. No, 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 no. The tarot card. You're Mari? psychic. I guess I you, am. You... Cuckoo. I'm cheating, I'm cheating. I am not. You're sleeping with her mother. That's disgusting. Will he pass the lie detector test? Have you ever had sex with Rose's mother? Go for it, Murphy. The lie detector test determined. <laughs> Although they are physically opposite, they fell in love and just got married. We were childhood sweethearts. He even took my virginity. But this love story will end today if she finds out he's been cheating. You love this woman. I love my wife. You want a little skinny model, girl. I you need love to get you. a little will model. Well, read you. the test results. My detective determined. Now you're Keisha. Morgan fears that David is cheating on her with her own 17-year-old sister, Mella. That's why I'm here, so all y'all can see I'm not doing nothing wrong. Morgan, I have a confession to make to you. <laughs> Everyone, this is Rose. Now, Rose has been with her husband, Joseph, for 16 years. They have five adorable kids. But now, Rose fears that she's committed her life to a man who cheats. Here's the deal. Rose truly believes she has psychic powers. And, and those powers say that her husband has not only been cheating with several women, but with her own mother and <laughs> maybe even men. Who knows? Listen. To I've been married 16 years to Joseph, and I have five beautiful kids. And now, deep down in my heart, I know he's cheating on me. I've been reading tarot cards for more than 20 years, and my tarot cards always tell me when Joe's having sex with another woman. I believe that Joseph has had sex with my own mother, and I think that he has been sleeping with men too. I have found stains on my husband's underwears. I also find blonde hair all the time on my husband. If this test proves that I was right all along, no, this all but us. No, 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 no. It's bye bye, Joseph, because this senorita se va. No more. Wow. Nice card. Nice tarot card. You're Marie. psychic. Yes, I you, am. You can figure it out. Yes, I can. In fact, th certain things happen to you when he's out. What, what happens? To I you? get all kind of feelings. Right? He's with a girl. Right? I feel my butt. <laughs> <laughs> When he's thinking of a woman or he's doing something, I can feel my breath itching. Oh, right. When he's, when no, he's no, doing Rose, somebody, Rose, my teeth thumb. Oh, really? Oh, my God, Murray. When he's doing something, Murray, my <laughs> That's what's going on here. Oh, my. I'm fed up. I'm fed up with the feelings. Okay. Do you love this man? I love him to, oh, my God, to death. Really? To death, Murray. Really? I gave you him five kids. That's enough. That's enough to show him I love him. And you think? Look at my five kids. Beautiful. But you Beautiful. Also, you also think he has another child. Well, I think so, because I was reading my cards like I do oh, every no, month no, 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 to no, find no. out what's going on. Right. And all of a sudden, this brand new baby comes out on one of my cards. It ain't me, buddy. Now. Get to the big thing. Your own mother? My mom. I can't believe it. I hear so many you've never rumors. Se you've never seen them anywhere, have No, you? but I'm hearing so many rumors, and I want to know. All right. I, I want to know. You ever asked your mother? Yes, I did. She doesn't want to confront me. <laughs> and it hurts me. And then, and then, he's sleeping with guys. I don't know. Your husband. I don't know. Oh, he's hanging story. out all day with guys. From 5 o'clock in the afternoon to 10 o'clock in the morning, he comes back the next day. He's telling me he's with 
Murray, he's with his friends, Murray. Yeah. Yeah, well then, damn, there must be some friends that be there all I have evidence on his pants. I got evidence on his pants. You don't even know. I bought a machine. Uh, what do you I mean? bought a machine. What is a machine? My machine detects sperm. <laughs> My machine detects. <laughs> My detects blood. It detects anything that has to do with anything on her underwear. I go into. Mary, I go into a little room, right? All dark. I take my little underwears that I find from him that I'm gonna wash, and I go like this, all right? And it tells me that there is his little lusty, lusty <laughs> huh? Yeah, boy. Your mother, a friend of mine, I call of them. a friend of yours, has a baby. I mean, he's got the, he's got everything no, going No, he's here. this papi chulo. He wants to be a papi chulo, <laughs> you know? I think we, we, we understand Rose, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is what her husband, Joseph, has to feel about these accusations. Oh, Watch. Please. Rose, I love you, Mommy. I will never cheat on you. I love you and my family. Just because you think you're a psychic and you have a twitching here and a twitching in your ear, you think I'm cheating on you. You are crazy. I will never cheat with your mother. That's nasty, disgusting. Coo -coo. I'm tired of you judging me and telling me I've been sleeping with men. Rose, I'm not cheating on you. I'm tired of you being judging me all the time. I'm cheating, I'm cheating. I am not. That's your husband. That's my husband. You love your husband. Oh, yeah, I love him. I'm gonna beat his ass if he don't come out right today. Sit down. He's crazy. Just be judging and judging and judging. You're sleeping with her mother. It's okay. That's disgusting. <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's wrong. And just, her you know, teeth chatters and her mouth goes crazy because, and her breasts do things. Those are the feelings I get, Murray, when he walks outside and he goes outside to the door. These are all the feelings that I get. Once he walks outside, I say, look, I pick up the phone. What are you doing? What are you doing? My butt hits. What are you doing? <laughs> Messing with her mother, are you? You better hope you're not, man. I I'm never whip did. Do you have another child she doesn't know about? I hope not. Are you messing with guys? No, you crazy? No, 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 no. Well, guess what? We have the results right here, okay? Okay, here we go. Have you ever had sex with a man? You said no. The lie detector test determined that's the truth. Yeah. Have you ever had sex with Rose's mother? Believe that. Go for it, Murray. Go for it, because I'm going to knock your ass off that. years for this to know if he did with uh, my mother. I didn't know. You're a lefty. I didn't know All right. <laughs> Have you ever had sex with Rose's mother? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was the truth. <laughs> Sit down. Okay. Before we reveal the rest of the lie detector results, last night we put Joseph into the green room. Oh. So was that our special undercover special ops investigator, David Talley, set up a hidden camera in one of the green rooms with a buddy decoy. Oh. And he was a man posing as another guest, and then Joseph talked about some things, and he also talked... <laughs> to a female decoy that we had there as well. Watch. Yeah, a beautiful wife, you know, she's beautiful, uh, you know, but nothing, you know, I don't mean because... It's anyway, it don't matter. 
I like why when you go to a club, that's like every time you go to a club, you come out with two or three girls, you know. You're kissing the Oh my god. Two of them was in Puerto Rico. What? Two what? Two chicks? Yeah, two chicks. But then um, I got married with her two years ago. And then after I got married, something happened with another chick there. But it wasn't nothing personal. I don't know. I just did it. Was it easy to get him to talk about this stuff? He was talking about so much stuff in that room to like a perfect stranger, so God only knows what he's saying to people that he knows, Whoa. you know, about you. Whoa. Yeah. Here are the rest. Uh, uh, so you like, to you're you're just like talking. touching you're ta clubs and stuff? He's just no, talking. No, 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 huh? no, no, no. How about no, no. if I start doing that was, then? No, no, huh? no, 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 no. How yeah, about no. if I start doing that That's then? That's not an issue here. Look, look. not get caught, would you? Oh, that's kind of rough. You said no, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. What? Did you cheat on Rose with one of her friends? You said no, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> Do you have any nice. other children besides the five you have with Rose? You said no, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> He definitely thinks he has a baby on the street. By the way, he failed my test. And, and also, you know Rose. I believe you. And because you've been taking money. You've been hiding money from me. Oh. And these. In the past seven years, you cheated on Rose. You admitted in our hidden camera you've cheated with three women, but the lie detector test determined you cheated with more than five. I'm fed up. You have five kids. I know what I do. Years, and I'm the that fell. Years, no, I, I take the test again. Years, I will take the test again. I will take the test again. I will do it again. Because I know what I do. And I never cheat you with five women. I never cheat you with five women. Never. 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 And when I get home. Although they are physically opposite, they fell in love and just got married. We were childhood sweethearts. He even took my virginity. But this love story will end today if she finds out he's been cheating. You love this woman. I love my wife. Ew. You want a little skinny model, girl. I you need to get you. a little will model. Well, read the test results. My detective determined. Morgan fears that David is cheating on her with her own 17-year-old sister, Mella. Morgan, I have a confession to make to you. <laughs> who is lying and who is telling the truth? <laughs> this is Nakisha. Welcome, Nakisha. This is Nikisha's newlywed husband, Richard. Yeah, that's me. Hey, how y'all doing? So you can see, physically, these are opposite people. But their love has formed the perfect union. Until now. Because Nikisha's convinced that Richard is having sex with other women. Last month, Richard came home with mysterious hickeys on his private parts. What's even more painful is Nikisha fears that Richard regrets marrying her. Watch. I can't get the idea of my husband, Richard, cheating out of my head. I think about it every single day because I deserve better than what he's doing to me. I fell in love with him 15 years ago. We were childhood sweethearts. He even took my virginity from me. But now I think Richard is embarrassed by me. He walks behind me in the stores. 
and I just don't think he wants to be seen with me because of my weight. He just has to come home with marks on his private parts. He also has to come home smelling like another female and sex and says it's for me, but it's not. I don't know what I do if I find out he's been cheating on me. I don't know if our marriage will last. All of a sudden you find marks. Yes, he come home and he told me, he said, oh baby, I was so drunk, my zipper, my penis got uh, zipped up in my, uh, yeah. A zip? He was up to no good. Um, we, like I said, we just got married and he would come home. He comes home on Thursdays. He gives me money, Maury, and then next thing you know, he's gone for two or three days at a time. And then he comes home. You think there's one woman in particular he's having sex with? Yes, I think I've met this lady. Um, how about I went to his family house to pick him up, and this young girl come out talking about, what you doing here? He ain't ready to go. You got to come back. I don't know, Mari. I'm, I'm here today to find out if my husband is cheating on me. So, so we all want to hear what your husband has to say. This is what Richard has to say. Nikisha, I would never, ever, ever jeopardize our marriage for another woman. I know you think I'm not attracted to you anymore, but I go to work every day, come home, clean and cook. I just can't jump in the bed and hump, hump, hump all the time. You found a woman's phone number in my wallet. I guess one of my friends was playing a joke on me. You know how guys are, baby. Practical joker. I feel like I'm not being appreciated enough for doing all the things that I'm doing for you. You are my heart, and I do not care about your side. I love you. Here's Richard. Woman. I love my wife. I really do, but I'm You all just got back after years, right? Yeah, but I get tired of being blamed for cheating on her. Cause I don't you cheat. are. I am not. You are cheating on me. Girl, well, read you. the test results. I want to know if you've been cheating. Are you glad you married your wife? Huh? Are you glad you no, married your wife? No, he's ashamed of me. I'm not ashamed of you. He's ashamed of me because I'm being. I love you. You want a little skinny model, girl. I need to get a little you. model. Will you stop thinking I don't love you? That's what you want, you. but I'm not the Cut one. Cut that out. I'm big, beautiful, and beluscious. Yeah. You messed with your ex-girlfriend? No. No, 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 no. I haven't seen them. They're lying. Who's the girl that's... Okay. Yes, Richard. Yeah. Are you still in love with Nikisha? You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. Yeah. I love you. You were asked if you avoid having sex with Nikisha. You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. Oh. Asked if you regret marrying Nikisha. No. The lie detector determined that's a lie. You were asked if when Nikisha says she found marks on your private parts, were they from cheating? You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. <laughs> you were asked if any woman other than Nikisha, you said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie more than 25 times. Man, that thing ain't reading right. I don't cheat on you, Keisha. I love you. Now, Dr. Gardier is going to comment on this because he just heard this. So yep. go ahead. Should Here's the deal. I the didn't. deal is stay where I was at. I didn't have to come back. I didn't have to come back to this. Keisha, I ain't here to hurt you. I love you. Nikisha, he does love you.
but he's got his own personal and emotional issues he's got to work through because he's yeah. sabotaging the relationship and sabotaging his own happiness. I do everything for you, you though. Still with somebody I'm else. not messing with nobody else. Back right after this. Thank you. Keisha, don't do this. Keisha. I don't do this. What more you got to say to me? I ain't cheating. You brought me all the way to New York to cheat on me, you hard. I did not. So tell me the truth. In order for me to forgive you, in order for me to give you a chance to start off, you need to be honest with me right now. I ain't do it that many times. I only did like three times. Now it's three. That's it. It's How long you been seeing this girl? Off and on, maybe once a month. Who do you want to be with? I want to be with my baby here. Are you gonna Are you gonna go home and break it off with this girl? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I knew it was something. Now my mama, everybody gotta see that on national TV. It took me to bring you to New York for you to be honest with me. And one thing I knew how things have changed with us. The way we bump and grind four or five times a night. And now it's down to twice a month. I forgive you. I forgave you before you even come clean. Cause that's what love does. It clears all that. But I'm hurt. Morgan fears that David is cheating on her with her own 17-year-old sister, Mella. That's why I'm here, so all y'all can see I'm not doing nothing wrong. Morgan, I have a confession to make to you. <laughs> This is 20-year-old Morgan. She is very sad. You see, five years ago, Morgan fell deeply in love with this man, David. They're, they're raising three children together. They should be perfectly happy. But sadly, that's not the case. You see, Morgan fears that David is cheating on her with several different women, including someone she's very close to, her own 17-year-old sister, Melanie. <laughs> My sister means everything to me. She knows I've been cheated on in the past. To think that she would go and do this to me makes me sick. My sister was supposed to come and pick me up one night from work and she never showed up. When I got home and looked in the window, it looked like he was jumping off the couch that she was on. And when I walked through the door, they both tried to act like they were asleep. I know in my heart that they were doing something. Mine and David's friends said that they seen them together in my mom's truck messing around. If I find out that David's messing with Melanie, it's over. I can't be with them anymore. When, when, when you saw them on the couch, you know, when they were supposed to pick you up and you came home and they were still in the house, and, and what did you see? It looked like he was jumping off of the couch that she was on. And when I walked in, they both tried to act like they were asleep. But I know I seen them. Oh. I seen them. Did you question yes. him then? I think he's cheating on me with this little girl. Her name is Let's get serious here about your sister. You love your sister, don't you? I love her more than anything in the world. She was like my best friend. They don't admit to anything. You don't believe them. I'm always stuck at home raising the kids by myself. He's always gone and he's not three bringing kids. no money home. You have three yeah, kids? Yeah, three kids. We adopted his sister's kids. We have full custody of his 19-month-old nephew and his 8-year-old niece oh. and my 4-month-old baby. He's been cheating on you. What are you going to do? I'm going to have to leave because he can't do this to me. This is what they I love Morgan more than anything in this world. I would never cheat on her, especially not with her sister. Morgan was told I was caught messing around with her sister in her truck. We drive around together all the time. Someone probably just saw that, but nothing was happening. Melanie and I hang around all the time, but we definitely ain't sleeping together. Morgan found scratches on my back a few times, but it's probably from working, not cheating. I would never cross the line this way. And it really hurts me to think that Morgan thinks I would do any of this to her. I would never do anything like this to jeopardize my family or my relationship. Here's David. David, come on out.
This woman took in her nephew. Adopted them. Plus, you all, you all have a baby of your own, too. And you know what she just said? Yeah, if you're I'm cheating on her? her. It's, it's said, crazy, Mari. Huh? It's crazy. It's crazy? Yeah. You're not cheating? No, we'll see. Today, we'll see. That's why I'm here. So all y'all can see, I'm not doing nothing wrong. Man, it's what? We'll see. You'll see. Sleeping with her sister, Melanie? No, I'm not. I'm not. How about the scratches on the back? I'm a con I work in construction. What do you think? You mean you come home, you sometimes. What do you think? Now there's, there's the missing piece. Sister Melanie. This is what Melanie had to say. Morgan, sisters shouldn't keep secrets from each other. I have a confession to make to you. I do think that David is cheating on you, but I promise it is not with me. You have to believe me. I love you more than anyone in this whole world. And I would never go behind your back and sleep with David. Here's Melanie. Melanie, come on out. Do that. I would never do that. Well, what happened when she came home and found you on the couch? What happened? I was asleep. It was four o'clock in the morning. So we're gonna get the results, but before David, there's something you said you wanted to, to do with Morgan, right? Pass this test today. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Hold up. If, if he passes these test questions, you will agree to marry him. Is that right? And if he doesn't pass the test questions? I can't do it. I can't. Okay. Here, here they come. You were asked if during your relationship with Morgan, if you ever cheated on her with your ex-girlfriend, you said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. If during your relationship with Morgan, have you ever cheated on her with any other woman? You said no. The lie detector <laughs> determined that's a lie more than ten times. <laughs> you were asked. You were asked if you were more attracted to Melanie than Morgan. You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. <laughs> you were asked if during your relationship with Morgan, have you ever had sexual contact? of any kind with si your, her sister, Melanie. You said no, the lie detector determined you were telling the truth. <laughs> you never do this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would never do this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would never do that to <laughs> you know, right? I've done everything. I know you have. <laughs> I want to go home to my babies. We are. <laughs> to our babies. <laughs> A woman keeps calling Ken's phone, saying she's pregnant with Ken's baby. She young. She believing in what another woman <laughs> Last night, we put Ken in the green room. Bachelor parties exposed. Is this cheating? Yeah, put it right here. The women they're about to marry think it is. Who is lying and who is telling the truth? This is 20 year old Leola. Now, Leola says she has been providing for her 33 year old boyfriend, Ken. It's her boyfriend. She's been providing for him since she was 13. She pays the buys the food, she puts the clothes on his back. 
every time. And they tried to have a baby for years. And Leola says her worst nightmare came true when another woman called and said she was pregnant with Ken's baby. And Leola's petrified that she has dedicated her life to a cheater. Watch this. I met my boyfriend, Ken, when I was 13 years old. I loved him with all my heart. I've done everything for Ken. Ken has disappeared for days at a time. He's come home with hickeys. I've even found keys and sunglasses that belongs to another girl. A woman keeps calling Ken's phone, saying she's pregnant with Ken's baby. <laughs> and that same woman says she's been having sex with Ken for over a year now. I'm not gonna take this one more day. I'm tired. If I find out that Ken is cheating on me, he can take all the clothes that I bought him and get the hell out of my house. Y'all have been trying to have a baby, haven't you? Yeah, I've been trying for the longest. All of a sudden, what happened? This girl talking about she might be pregnant by him. After all these years I've been trying? Anybody knows. Anybody knows. Ken had a different version of all this. This is what Ken had to say. Watch. Leola, baby, you know I love you. We've been together for seven years. And today, I want to show you that I haven't been cheating on you. Babe, I know somebody been calling my phone saying that they pregnant, but it's not like that. Babe, I love you, so I wouldn't jeopardize our relationship for nothing. Look, I'm tired of you accusing me of cheating. It's time to be your own lady. Stop listening to what other people say. Here comes Cat. A woman can drive you crazy with cheating this, cheating this, cheating this, cheating this. Okay, okay, if you hear that, it, though, if you hear that, morning, but noon, and night, morning, noon, and night, you're morning, gonna end up. Night. You're gonna end up. Damn. Damn. Obviously, another woman can come do more than her because I ain't gotta hear that with that other woman. Oh. You feel what I'm saying? But you ain't here. I love my lady, true enough. Right. Yeah, you feel but what I'm you saying? Man to don't do don't know, don't don't know other baby chick. With somebody else? See, you know what I'm saying? What she did is she young. She believing in what another woman tell her. What about you feel right on the phone? The woman who the called call. Yeah. See, the thing is, can another woman have a friendship? It ain't got to be no relationship. Yeah. Let, 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 let a call me. Let a dude call me. Now, wait a phone. second. It's wait a, a second. Hey, you know where baby, baby last night. Last night, we put Ken in the green room, and what he didn't know is that our undercover special ops investigator, Dave Vitale, set up a hidden camera in one of our green rooms with a buddy decoy who's a man posing as another guest, and Ken also talked to our female decoy as well. I love me a woman, bro. I promise to God it's something about him, dog. I can't keep away at Chip New Jersey. Look just like Eric would do. You know what I mean? I know she got pregnant for me. You know, you don't so And I kind of figured that I was at the end right now. I feel, you know, I, I got love for her, but I'm not in love with her. You love me no more? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's sit like out. I got you. I can get that's another real, one. That's real. That's real. You know what? That's real. That's real. Like I said, that's real. stay in your place. That's real. All right, here are the results. In the past three years, have you cheated on Leola? You admitted to cheating with more than three women. The lie detector said you cheated with more than ten. Will Ken be able to win her back? Like Find out. Next. Like that, man. Bachelor parties exposed. Is this cheating? Yeah, put it right here. The women they're about to marry think it is. Maury was brought to you in part by. Who is lying and who is telling the truth?
Last night, we put Ken in the green room. So he was just looked just like Eric would do. You understand me? I know we, she got pregnant from me. I feel, you know, I, I got love for her, but I'm not in love with her. Did you cheat? A voicemail saying she was having your baby. You admitted that you have cheated with her. So why you made me come all the way to New York? Did the keys that Leola found come from a woman you cheated with? You said no. The lie detector test determined that's a lie. I know. I told you. Have you ever cheated on Leola with a woman in your own house? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. You, you prove what you wanted to prove, just leave. Yeah. Hey. It's like this here. It's like this here. He can get, he can get out. True enough. Can. But let me tell you something. If she want to walk, baby, whoa. You can get out. You understand me? Like that, man. Come on, man. You tripping. Oh, man. You oh, tripping, you dog. tried me. I'm no. tripping. Wrong. I'm you tried me. Dog. In our house, Ken. Okay. Come on, baby. Who? Our Who? house. Who? I don't know. I was Who? gone. Okay, you yeah. probably did it, but I was Who? gone. Bachelor parties exposed. Is this cheating? Yeah, put it right here. The women they're about to marry think it is. Okay, everybody. So, what happens when you mix sexy women, rowdy men, and a lot of alcohol? Hello. Oh. <laughs> what you get is the modern day bachelor party, all right? Here with a behind the scenes look at some of the most scandalous parties ever seen, our old friend Tommy Habib, host of the reality show Staff. That's a big year, Tommy. We have Denise and Steven. Now, their romance apparently started out on rocky ground because yeah. he left his ex-girlfriend, who was Denise's best friend, oh. for Denise, right? Uh, there were, I guess, trust issues going in, right? Well, you start down that path where you're already cheating. What right. do you expect? Take a look. My name's Steven. I have a laid back kind of personality. Steven and I had a lot of trust issues in the beginning. He cheated on my best friend with me. It took me a while to trust him and, and feel comfortable that he's not going to do the same thing to me. Here's to Steve getting married or not. <laughs> not. It was great. Yeah, put him. Like I was in my very own crazy porn. You gotta go, because you're getting married. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, don't. <laughs> I know you like porn, I know you like Playboy. Yeah. I've got Penny straight from Playboy magazine. This doesn't hurt. Bye, baby. Oh, she can't be happy. Right. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, let's take a look at what happens when Denise confronts him. Watch, everybody. Let's see what happened last night. No more girls. Yes, I know, I know. You're in a restaurant holding that girl's hand. Do you have her phone number? No. Holding hands with some chick in a bar and getting her phone number? No, she wouldn't. Are you kidding me? I don't have a number. Don't. Put your mouth on this chick's crotch. You have a Playboy model tying you up at your bachelor party. If you think for one... Second, I would marry you. Talk to me! I'm going. Wait, 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 wait. Two years of my life I wasted with you. Don't so. Don't do that. Hey, hey. Come. What about your precious coin collection? Debbie, that's Alice. Stop. Come talk to me.
I don't know if he's more upset over the porn tapes or losing her. Thanks so much for being here, Tom. Tom Anthony, we'll be back after this. Are these men cheating with their girlfriend's mothers and even their girlfriend's daughters? A shocking hour of Mari begins right now. Tammy is 45. 15 years ago, Tammy stole her daughter's boyfriend, but he was just a teen. I didn't mean to fall in love with Justin. It just happened. They've been together ever since, and Summer's never forgiven either one of them. If it was so nothing because we was kids, you're going it to was something that. to me. But do you care? Now Tammy is afraid that Summer is trying to steal her man back. Little slut, you're like pathetic. You go to hell. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. You're you're pathetic. Disgusting. One of the most outlandish families to ever grace the Mari stage. I love you. He slept with my. He tried raving. This is the craziest family I've ever talked to. Thank Are you me. serious? Last year, the DNA proved that Darren was the father of Lydia's daughter Annabelle. You are the father. <laughs> Today they're back, and you won't believe the reason why. I would never guess that he would cheat on me with my mom. He tried to expose himself with three different times. Is there any way her accusations could be true? <laughs> Daughter. <laughs> Mother. Don't walk away. Love, lust, and lies. <laughs> An epic hour of the most outrageous guests you've ever seen starts now. Everyone, this is Tammy. Welcome, Tammy, to the show. Now, now everybody, you got to understand, you got to listen to these ages, okay? Tammy's 45. And now, you know, you always don't choose who you fall in love with. And Tammy admits that's exactly what happened to her when she met 29-year-old Justin. <laughs> now you got to subtract because they've been together almost 15 years. She's 45, he's 29. You do the numbers. There are some shocking twists to this story. Number one, Tammy met Justin because Justin was dating Tammy's own daughter, Summer. <laughs> Number two, the reason they are all here today is because Tammy fears that Justin is cheating with various women, including her daughter, Summer. What? When Tammy started dating her daughter's ex-boyfriend, Justin, she knew it was wrong. But in her heart, it felt so right. I didn't mean to fall in love with Justin. It just happened. Yes, yeah, Summer was with him first, but they were just teenagers. Tammy and Justin have been together for the past 14 years. Tammy fears that her daughter, Summer, is seeking revenge and sleeping with Justin. My daughter, Raven, told me she's seen Justin and Summer making out on my couch. I get sick to my stomach when I think about Justin sleeping with my daughter and possibly other women. This family is at war. Summer is and has always been jealous of the relationship I have with Justin. I'm tired of my daughter dressing inappropriately in my house in front of my boyfriend. Justin was my boyfriend first. My mother stole him from me. I did not cheat with Justin. I hate him. Justin and my mother ruined my life. I don't know what love is, and I blame them. My mother's going to learn that Justin's a cheater, but it's not with me. Someone is lying, and only a lie detector test will uncover the truth.
What a story. No wonder your daughter's jealous for you. You took her boyfriend from her. But I loved him, Maury. You loved they him? They were just teenagers. Yeah, there was why did you lay off? There. They were 14, 15 years it old. It was nothing serious. They was... were kids. Oh, I loved him. but at the no, time, I that's serious that a, 30, too, that a 30 year old woman goes and takes a 14, 15 year old boy from him. I can't, uh, there was nothing there with them, too. So you just pounced on him. Uh, it was about the same. By the way, what did your other daughter, Raven, say about Justin and Summer lately? She told me she came down my stairs and seen Justin and Summer sitting on my couch, hugging and kissing. <laughs> Mari, that's not fair. That's not fair to me. They live in my house. I love Justin Summer. with all my heart. I love Summer. Summer, Summer says she didn't do a thing. Mari, Raven, my daughter, took her right hand and put it on the Bible and swore to me that she seen Summer and Justin on my couch. Well, guess couch. what? We got something yeah. better than that. We got a lie detector test. Yeah. Now, I'm looking at Summer. You say that she walks around the house and looks all... Oh, my God, Maury. She wears shirts that she bends over in front of Justin. Her boobs is hanging out. She wears shorts. Her butt's hanging out of them. I have to tell her, Summer, put on clothes. Wait a minute. You talk about your boyfriend, but you think your boyfriend's messing around with other women, too. Absolutely, but I don't want it to be my daughter again. Not my daughter. Oh, so you can accept him messing around? No. No, I do not accept nothing. If he's cheating, it's over. I'm done. Liar. He's out of there. I'm tired of it. I'm done with it, Maury. You also think Summer's stealing from you. I think Summer's stealing from me, but not only Summer, Justin also. Justin, you know what I Summer said? I have money said? in my purse. Yeah. Next day I get up, money's gone. <laughs> only Summer or, or Justin is in my Medicine house. Medicine, too. Done this. Medicine, oh. too? Medication, yes. I have it right in the line. What, your I pills? I mark my bottles, yes. All right. I get up, medication gone. Gone. Only Summer or Justin one did this morning. You know what Summer says? What Summer says? Not her, it's Justin. Let's get the lie detector test. By the way, you have another child, don't you? Yes, I do. His name's Robbie. Absolutely. Robbie is here. Robbie, nice to see you. You think your sister is messing with your mom's boyfriend? No, I do not. You do not? No. Why are you here? To defend De my sister. Oh, to defend your sister. <laughs> you think your mother has messed up your sister's life by taking her boyfriend? Find her, yes. I don't think I've messed up her life, no. You don't think you've messed up her I life? Don't think she I've says she can't life. find love. She She's says she married, can't. Mark. Justin is she a got cheater. Four kids. What? Justin is a cheater. He has cheated on my mom more than once. Really? How do you know that? How do you know that? Because my mom has caught him. She has went to the lady's house that he has cheated with. What? Ten, ten years ago. I didn't even see them so together you forgave at the time. Him. I seen him later. You forgave him. Yes, I forgave him. I brought him back. You brought him back. I she loved him, Maury. And back. now you're I on the Ma and now him. you're on the Maury show. Fifteen years. Fifteen years, Maury. How you get along with your daughter? We don't get you along. You don't get together. along. <laughs> Everybody, here's Summer. Summer, come on out. You're about just as pathetic as him. You're pathetic. Yeah, really. You're both pathetic. You're ridiculous. Wait, you wait till you see. Wait till you see. You're about to lose a daughter and grandkids because you're nasty. No. I'm not. It was nothing we well, was kids. If it was nothing because we was kids, you're going it was to something see that. to me. Oh, okay. but do you care? Yeah. No, you don't. I raised if him you by, cared, by myself. If you cared, you wouldn't have kept him around 15 years. I love years. you, and I 15, deserve you to don't be love. Yeah, I love you. But how about I go sleep with a one you well, lost your virginity to? Well, I'll tell you what. 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 I'll t
It ain't your right to say I'm going to hell. As to your sister Raven, she says she saw you cheating with Justin, and Raven couldn't be here, but I want you to listen to her account of what she saw. I saw my sister Summer and Justin kissing on my mom's couch. They need to stop lying. I'm sick and tired of Summer always hurting my mom. She steals her medication and her money, and she lies about it, too. As for Justin, I hate his ass. He cheats with my sister and other women, too. He needs to get the hell out of my mom's house for good. Wow. He does need to be out. He does need to be out, but it sure ain't with me. And I'm not a thief. It, she didn't raise me to be a thief. Right. And I'm and not a liar. Lines. I was raised not to lie, and I was raised not to, to steal, and I don't do either one. Well, we're gonna I got to give her that. We're going to see that summer. You believe that Justin and your mom ruined your life. Yeah, I do. Ugly ruined your life. Well, how about you be 13 years old and my grandma will sleep with your man? <laughs> I lost my virginity to him. You knew it. Because you just kept slut. him in the house for three you months long. We was both sleeping with you him. He was a little teenage both slut. Of us. Both of us. For I three didn't months. know he was yeah, you did. sleeping with you. You're a You're damn, damn liar. liar. Can we get the test, more? Tammy, I want to tell you something. You are some piece of work. <laughs> well, yeah. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. Finally, someone else sees it other than me. I deserve to be loved well, just like Mari, you. Oh, I lost yeah. my virginity well, to that guess man. Guess what? I can't wait to meet Justin. Good luck. And we're going to bring him Good out job. and find out the lie detector test when we come back. Yeah. Don't go away. All of the drama continues. I love you. He slept with my... He tried raving. This is the craziest family I've ever talked to. Thank Are you. you Darren, the father of Lydia's daughter, Annabelle. Lydia's mom claims Darren exposed himself to her. Three different times. Why would she even really? be worried about looking really? at my... Really? If she had... Really? Been... Love, lust, and lie detector. <laughs> A dramatic hour of Mari continues. So welcome back. Before the break, we met Tammy. We met her daughter, Summer. Shockingly, Tammy believes her boyfriend, Justin, is cheating on her with other women, including Summer. And, and just in case you forgot, Summer says she lost her virginity to Justin and were bo <laughs> boyfriend and girlfriend at young teenage years when Tammy went in and took her boyfriend from her. <laughs> Yep. No, he wasn't. He lived up. with me. Justin you let him move in when I was 13 in. years Justin old. Came First of all, he moved in with us when I was 13. This is the craziest family I've ever talked to. Thank Are you serious? Yes, it is. Oh, you ain't heard the half of this. What? 14 year olds sleeping with each other, living together, Thank mom you. coming down, taking the boyfriend. Here's Justin, everybody. Let me get this straight, Justin. You and Tammy have been together almost 15 years. Yes. Have you gone back to your old girlfriend? No. Are you ditching Tammy for summer? No. No? Hell no. no. You're better. Hell no. I, I know how you better to, hope you're not lying. I know how to let the past die. You better. Raven said that you and, and Summer were uh, making out she on the couch. And nothing. that's a lie. Yeah, that's she pathetic. Did, Lori. Why she couldn't she come the take Holy a Bible. test? And she's going to go to hell like her. Oh, stop. <laughs> You're You're pathetic. Pathetic. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. You're disgusting. He's the one that steals from mom. Not me. How about She's that, Justin? She's caught him too many times. I admit Tied. it, I have. You've stolen there from her? Go. He I admit admitted. it. He has. I admit it. I have. He has not me. from me not in the me. past. But not present. <laughs> not present. I don't have any reason to lie. She can't I get a decent man. You don't she have any reason to lie? She can't get one that ain't a cheater and ain't a thief. Well, we're going to find if out whether you have any reason to lie.
because I got two lie detector tests. One for Summer and one for you, Justin. Are you ready? That's right. Yeah. We're going to go to Summer first. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever stolen money or medication from your mother? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sick of you. I'm sorry. No, I'm done with you. I'm done. You I bring me tell on you, TV I'm sorry. and call me a liar and accuse me, me of TV. You know because why? Because you're know. accusing me of this no. nasty. I don't tell you. He tried raving. He still got him here. You still got him here. You still accused me of cheating with him. I'm you still sorry. accused me of stealing. I, I, I want to tell you. If I'm so nasty, why are you stuck I'm on me? Let's hear his. Okay, Justin. I'm done. Here we go. Yeah. Did Thank you. Have, you. Yeah. Did you have Thank any you. type? So Did you have any type of sexual contact with Summer the time Raven claims to have seen you making out on the couch? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Damn right, he was. Damn right. That's right. Ooh. I don't have nothing to hide. I don't have anything to hide. Other than what Tammy already knows about, have you had any type of sexual contact with Summer while in a relationship with Tammy? You said no. The lie detector determined... You're telling the truth. What? What now? I don't what now? To lie about. Uh, what did you lie about? He has just lied to me so much. It was hard to believe that he wasn't Forget cheating Forget about me. him. You want to apologize to your I daughter? Apologize to daughter? I told her. No, I'm, I'm good. sorry, so I'm, good. I'm, I'm sorry. good. No, you're not. I love you. No, you don't. I love you so no, much. No, you don't. You I proved love you. it for 15 years. I raised years. five kids by myself. Yeah. I deserve that love. love. I Find someone that I slept to. with. There's your love. Tammy, don't There's you want to hear about Justin, whether he's been true to you? Yeah. Yeah. Justin, sure have you ever that. stolen money from Tammy? You admitted to our lie detector administrator you have. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. During your relationship with Tammy, other than what she knows, already knows about, have you had sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined That's a lie. that was a lie. Yeah. Hold on, Ralphie. He had significant reactions to cheating on her throughout the relationship. I see. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with Tammy and another woman on the same day? You admitted to our lie detector minister. Did you ask him at what He's a dirty dog. Do you know it now? Do you know it now? They were all ones I know about in the past. We can't now hide behind the wait a, second. wait a second. Are you trying to break this up? No. Are you trying to I say, trying oh, to if it was back then, but not now, it's okay? No, or I'm saying when he was 14. Not now. I know he cheated on me when he was 14. What summer? I'm talking about. Did you hear what reason. he just said? Do you understand the English language? Throughout. She said throughout the relationship. Yes. He, Maury, even Tammy, Tammy, you only have Tammy, you only have one thing to do in your life from now on, as far as I'm concerned. And that's get rid of it. Make it up with your daughter. Make up with your daughter. We'll be back after this. Stay tuned. Backstage executive producer Paul Fallhaber will try to salvage what's left of Tammy and Summer's relationship. No, you come here. Don't walk away. Darren was the father of Lydia's daughter, Annabelle. Lydia's mom claims Darren exposed himself to her. Three different times. Why would she even be worried about living in my... Really? Really? Love, lust, and lie detector. A dramatic hour of Maury continues. Everyone, this is Amanda. Welcome, Amanda, to the show. I should say, welcome, Amanda, back to the show, because last year, Amanda appeared on our show to prove to her daughter and Lydia's boyfriend, Darren, that he was the father of her daughter, Annabelle. Take a look at the last explosive appearance.
Lori, I have done everything. That ain't I my baby. I have done the formula. That ain't my baby. <laughs> If he's denying this child, what he is basically saying is, you slept with other guys. Oh, absolutely not. Virginity to him. Absolutely. Look at this. 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 She says she lost her virginity to you. Yeah. That's a lie. She lost it to her ex-boyfriend. Oh, wow. You feel trapped by her. Her mom oh, got me oh, trapped. Oh, When it comes to two-month-old Annabelle, Darren, you are the father. So guess what? After the show, Lydia and Darren stayed together. But now, Mother Amanda is hoping to break them up. Because Amanda began to suspect that Darren was cheating on her daughter when she heard a rumor that he slept with three different women in one night. <laughs> Even more shocking, Amanda claims Darren has actually made sexual advances towards her. Three times. All right, so what happened the first time? He was laying on the couch and... You know, sometimes, you know, men's boxers have the slit and your junk kind of falls out sometimes. So I was like, no big deal, okay? Right. Then the second time second that time. it happened, yeah. the junk fell out again and I'm like... <laughs> so the third time that it happened, <laughs> yeah. he has on ball shorts, yeah. okay? Unless he has a 15-inch... <laughs> Come out of all shorts. Didn't he text you one time? Here he is. Hurry up and get home and I'll give you a massage. What was this rumor that you heard, that your daughter heard about him sleeping with three women in one night? He has brought her home STDs. You, I mean, that was on the first show. He disappears weeks at a time. Weeks? Weeks. I want to meet Darren. Here's Darren, everybody. Darren, nice to see you. You would not, you would not embarrass no. this family by exposing yourself in front of this woman, would you? No, I wouldn't. I've never intentionally tried to expose myself to this woman. Oh, if, in, in that case, really? why would she even really? be worried about looking really? at my penis really? if it was out? Really? If she has a really? bed, really? Don't, don't put your hands on really? it. Three women in one night. That's pretty prolific, I, I, I wish I was that lucky, Mari. I <laughs> wish I was that lucky. Three you women? You my daughter to three have women in one night? That's oh, the way. Oh, my God. Are you kidding that's me? That's the only way he would oh, come Oh, now on I want to have a threesome. It went from three women in one night, now I want to have a threesome with your daughter. Yes. Are you kidding me right yes. now? Yes. Everybody, it's time to meet the woman caught in the middle. Here's Lydia. Hi, Lydia. Welcome back, dear. How are you? Lydia, you love him? It's it's really been a rough road, really. How come? I mean, yeah, he's cheated on me in the past, but I would oh. never guess that he would cheat on me with my mom. You, Do you know? think I would lie to you? No. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm trying to keep our family together. By the way, whatever happened with that text message, Darren? Did That's you send that? Know. Where, did you send the message? Oh. Right there, that, that message. Dear Is Chris, that me? I did see the message. Is he in his daughter's life? Well, every now and then. Oh, every now and then? Every now and then? Every now and then. Every I now mean, and then. You're Seriously? always coming back and when? forth. When? When am back I ever leaving and coming you back? When you kick me out. Do you kick me out. Do not yell at my daughter. What are you going to do? He blames it on I got a way. I got a way to handle all this. Have you intentionally exposed your privates to Lydia's mother, Amanda? You said no. The lie detective determined that was a lie.
<laughs> this is crazy. Y'all for real telling me that I intentionally try to show Have this you ever woman stolen my from Amanda, Darren? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh. During your relationship with Lydia, have you had sexual intercourse with any of your female co workers? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. I Lydia. I know for a fact I wasn't with another woman. Slept with a woman. It oh, was... Ralph, can you come backstage, Ralph? Let's go, let's go out here. You want to go out here? Hi, Maury. How are you today? Good Fine. To Good to see you, Ralph. Same here. He didn't fail to sexual intercourse, but right. it was sexual contact. There was sexual contact. Yes, before what, what, coming okay. home. How about cheating? Cheating throughout the relationship. He was deceptive. We weren't even together the whole relationship, so. But I'm the whore. I'm the one. And that... as far as exposing himself, it's intentional. Who are you going home with, Amanda? He, he, I Emma, mean, she's going home with me. You want him back in your life? No. No. Octavia was shattered when she found love letters from her fiance to another woman. What did letter number one say? It's been two weeks since they seen each other. Can they meet in that usual spot? That other woman? Octavia's best friend of 20 years, Romisha. I knew him before you. If I wanted him, I would have had him be. You got like it! Love, lust, and lie detector. A dramatic hour of Mari continues. Everyone, this is Octavia. Welcome, Octavia, to the show. Now, for four years, Octavia has devoted her heart and soul to her fiancé, Timothy. Three months ago, Octavia's happiness was shattered when she made a shocking discovery. She opened the glove compartment of her car and found three shocking, suggestive love letters to another woman from Timothy. And it gets worse because the other woman that the love letters were meant for was Octavia's best friend of 20 years, Lomisha. So Octavia needs to know if the two most important people in her life have betrayed her. I love my fiancé, Timothy, with all my heart. I will go through hell and back for this man, but I feel like he's betraying me in the worst way. The thought of my fiancé cheating has destroyed my self-esteem. When I found those letters between my fiancé and my best friend in his car, it killed me inside. I couldn't believe how they talked about meeting in their usual spot, how he talked about missing his son. He doesn't have kids. Or how they talked about being together. Being together? Really? I'm not just worried about him being with my best friend. I'm worried about him cheating with other women, and it sickens me to my stomach. I hope Timothy passes the lie detector test. Because I don't know if I can live without him. Let's start with the most important stuff, those love letters. Did you question him about them? Yeah. What did he say? He told me it was just a joke for my birthday. And what did your best friend tell you? She told me it was a joke for my birthday. I would never do her like that. We've been best friends for 20 years. Let's start with letter number one. What did letter number one say? It's been two weeks since they seen each other, stroked each other. Can they meet in that usual spot? What damn usual spot? What about the second letter? His love for her has grown stronger each day. What damn love? What was in letter number three? He hate the fact that they got to keep it a secret. They wish they could meet one day, be together one day. What the hell are they going to be together for? We supposed to be together. What'd you find in your bedroom? A black lingerie under a mattress. I can't fit that. What do you mean? I can't fit that. When you go to work, what happens? I go to work at 11 o'clock at night. I get off at 7 in the morning. She came to me one day and she asked me, she was like, Who? Did, uh, my neighbor. Yeah. She said, um, what you been doing lately? I've been seeing people leave your house at 3 o'clock in the morning. Are you partying or something? We've got two people to meet. First, we're going to meet your 
former best friend, Romisha. Here's Romisha. <laughs> Is that what he does for you? No, that's what he can do. We too fat to be together. You're too fat? We're gonna make a fat somewhere. We're gonna make a fat somewhere. Where the love come from? It was a joke. It was a joke. You know. some kind of joke. Two, four, three, four. Let me ask you this, Mark. How would you feel if your best friend wrote a letter to your wife talking about a usual spot? It was a joke, Mark. We was in the same room. Me and him was in the same room making a joke. What you doing in the same room? We was in. You was there. You think he's been messing around on her? Oh, Marv, I, I know he's been messing around with her. That lingerie she found under the mattress, is it yours? Marv, look at that little stuff. What I can work it. Well, I can I'm big enough. I'm big enough. Put two pieces together. I'm the man was in the lingerie. What I can do you with it? You put two and two what together. What can I right? do with it? You put two and two together. I can tear it up. Right? Everybody, up here's I Timothy. Timothy, on. come on out. By the way, Ramesha, he didn't look so big. He, Mar, he doesn't look, look big. I got a girdle on right now. If I take it off, I don't think I'm gonna do number real. You know. think he's wearing a girdle? I don't know about him, but I am. It's like what? What? Did y'all call the coordinate today? Boy, it's really something being around these two. I know it. How stupid of a joke was that that you pulled on your? No, own? how sick of a joke. Man, we just sick of a was, joke. I mean, it was just a joke, man. She just took it serious. Everything. Yeah, she just took she it serious. She took everything serious. We've been serious. together for a year. You know I'm going to take it serious. I did it before you. If I wanted him, I would have had him dead. You got like him. Like I said. 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 All he can do for me is take me to Taco Bell. That's all he can do for me. That's all he can do. These two think that you're messing around with other women, bringing them back to the house. Bring them back to the house. Huh? I won't bring nobody back Could we have that picture of that lingerie again? Where it come from? Where it come from? Any damn show ain't mine. It ain't mine. I gotta take a commercial break. We're gonna have the results when we come back. Will the lie detector cancel a wedding and end a 20-year friendship? Are you going to die like this? You're going to die like this? Backstage executive producer Paul Fallhaber will try to salvage what's left of this mother and daughter's relationship. Don't walk away. Love, lust, and lie detector. A dramatic hour of Maury continues. I want to tell you, <laughs> I've enjoyed part of this last segment. And some of the segment was kind of weird with these love letters that were a joke. That were a joke. That Octavia is all upset about, and her friendship of 20 years, where their best friend Romisha has been shattered, and Timothy, her fiance, she thinks he's messing around with half the town. And she crazy like that, Mark. We're gonna see if he's still gonna be a fiance. If he fails, is it over? Get this ring right now. He can take this ring, take that lingerie, take that car, his shoes, his socks, his boxes, and all his damn clothes. Well, Misha, are you worried about the results here? Oh, I'm, Mark, I'm confident in my answers because okay. I know. I ain't never been so with we him, gave, and I don't want him. So we gave Romisha a lie detector test and Timothy a lie detector test. Come on, Mark. Come on, Mark. Let's get this Timothy over is first. During your relationship with Octavia, have you had sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Did you, have, did you have sexual intercourse with another woman while Octavia was visiting her family? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh. 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 Oh.
that test ain't right, man. Don't you know. Uh, have you had, have you had sexual you intercourse right. with another woman in the house you share with Octavia? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> Timothy, have you had sexual intercourse with another woman while Octavia was at work? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. A lie. A lie. A lie. Would you rather be in a relationship with Romisha instead of Octavia? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, Timothy, have you had sexual intercourse with Romisha? You admitted to our lie detector administrator you have. Romisha, do you want to be in a relationship with Timothy? You Hell said no. no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Romisha, have you had any type of sexual contact with Timothy? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. I got one guy who admits to you that he had sexual intercourse with her and she passed the lie detector test saying she didn't have it. That's true, Maury. He, his results were inconclusive, leading towards deception. Now, when I tested her, she passed with flying colors. Yeah. Thank you. Which means Thank you. he made the story up. Thank you. Tammy just discovered that her boyfriend of 15 years has been cheating with everyone but her daughter, Summer. I want to tell you I'm sorry. And call me a liar and accuse me of TV. You know why? Because you're accusing me of this nasty. Backstage executive producer Paul Fallhaber will try to salvage what's left of Tammy and Summer's relationship. No, you come here. Don't walk away. Love, lust, and lie detector. A dramatic hour of Mari continues. Fifteen years ago, Tammy stole her daughter's boyfriend. They were split yeah. up, Mari. Yeah. No, they it wasn't. He lived up. with me. They've been together ever since. And Summer's never forgiven either one of them. He He's like, I love you. He's like, well, like, he tried raving. He was still not Today, Tammy came to find out if Justin and Summer had rekindled their old romance. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. You're disgusting. Pathetic. Tammy demanded the truth. Have you had any type of sexual contact with Summer while in a relationship with Tammy? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. What? But be careful what you wish for. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with Tammy and another woman on the same day? You admitted to our lie detector administrator. Oh, wow. You only have one thing to do in your life from now on, as far as I'm concerned. Let's get rid of it. Make it up with your daughter. Make up with your daughter. Backstage executive producer Paul Fallhaber will try to salvage what's left of Tammy and Summer's relationship. I want you to stand up here. Come here. No, you come here. Don't walk away. On TV. You just made fun of her breast Why? as a young woman. Mom, yes, no, I'm not. Why don't you open your head and think of things you've said at the end of me? Your whole life. You're not yes, a liar. There. You're a liar. Let me get her to admit to some stuff here. Because she you know ain't going to admit to nothing. She but can't take no blame for nothing she does. All the hurtful things you've said, all the hurtful things you've said is what you can't get over now. Looks like this mother and daughter have a long way to go before they find forgiveness. And we'll be right back. Love, lust, and lie detector. A dramatic hour of Maury continues. I want to thank all of my guests for being here. I want to thank everybody in the world who watches the Maury Show. I want to thank my live studio audience. Thank you. I 
Until next time, America. Thank you. The emotion starts right now on Mari. She's come here to reveal a secret to her very own sister. I've been thinking my fiance for a year. And it gets worse. I'm three months pregnant. Is Rain the father? It's a possible exit. Does your boyfriend know about it? He doesn't know yet. What will happen when her sister and then her boyfriend what? find out this unbelievable secret? Rochelle is trying to fight cancer. She's had a hundred surgeries. And she's here trying to find out if her boyfriend is secretly the father of her cousin's baby. I've been with Rochelle since she's had her cancer. I've been by her side. Nobody else me. You're very emotional about this. It's not my child. Why is she going to come and tell me that she was with you if she wasn't with you? He says you didn't sleep together. Yeah. He's a liar. You know, there's another possible father. Derek yeah. wants to be the father, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does. And he wants to be the father. Two men tested. Which man is this little girl's father? Derek. Ryan. <laughs> These guests say their secrets have to come out today. <laughs> How do I get out of this place? Why? 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 An unforgettable hour of Mari starts now. This is Rochelle. Rochelle has been diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. And, and over the last year, she's had 100 surgeries. Now, during this struggle, her boyfriend, Ryan, has been a complete disappointment. Rochelle believes when she's in the hospital with all of her trouble, Ryan sleeps with other women in her own house. And by the way, not only random women, because recently... Rochelle's cousin, Deanna, claimed she also slept with Ryan and that Ryan just could be the father of her baby. <laughs> this is what Brian had to say. Me and Rochelle have been through so much together. We've got three beautiful kids together. I've been with Rochelle since she's had her cancer and her higher denied Severtiva and all that. I've been by her side, nobody else me. For her to say that I'll cheat on her while she's in the hospital having her treatments is really hurtful. Michelle heard a rumor that I slept with her cousin Deanna and her kid Mackenzie might be mine. I'd never sleep with Deanna beyond Rochelle's back. I'm taking this lie detector test today to prove to Rochelle that I love her. When this paternity test comes back today and proves that I'm not the father, I want Deanna and everybody to leave us alone. Let us be a happy family. So, not only, by the way, have we given Ryan a lie detector test, we also gave her cousin, uh, Rochelle's cousin Deanna's baby, Mackenzie, a paternity test, and we're going to have those results. <laughs> he sounded pretty convincing. He is pretty convincing, but all those tears? No. No. He wasn't crying when he was doing what he was doing. How did you... Maybe he wasn't doing it. Why, why would my cousin come up to me and tell me that she was with him if she was never with him? You go to the hospital like once a month, right? At least once a month. And, and you think that he's having sex in your house while you're gone? I think he has. What happens when you call him from the hospital? Sometimes he doesn't answer. First got diagnosed with cancer was when he was cheating with Deanna. What did you hear? What news did you hear a few weeks ago? Is that when you heard from Deanna? Yeah, she just admitted it to me. What did he say? He said it's not true. He never did it, and she's just trying to start. By the way, us. you know, there's another possible father of this baby. Yes. And his name is Derek. And Derek as well. And we gave him a paternity test. Here's Ryan. Ryan, come on out. Sleep with her cousin. You're very emotional.
emotional about this. Why don't you think you've been able to convince her? Is it because of her cousin? Well, just everything stems from the past. I mean, do you ever sleep with her cousin, Deanna? No. No. <laughs> Why do you do that to Rochelle? But the criminal relationships that she has, she can't even find anybody that wants to be with her. Why is she gonna come and tell me that she was with you if she wasn't with you? When I had all my own suspicions myself, how did her sweater get in your car? How did her sweater get in your car? Here's what Deanna had to say. Watch this. Today I'm here to find out if my cousin Rochelle's boyfriend Ryan is the father of my one-year-old daughter Mackenzie. I know it was wrong to sleep with my cousin's boyfriend and I regret it and I feel bad about it every day. Ever since this came out, me and Rochelle are not as close as we used to be. Ryan is a liar. He knows that we slept together and I don't know why he's denying it. Rochelle, I made a huge mistake and I wish that I could take it back. Rochelle, I hope Ryan's not the father of Mackenzie. Regardless of the paternity test, Ryan is a no good cheating loser, and you deserve better. Here's Deanna. Deanna, come on out. He says you didn't sleep together. My, I've, he I've heard what he said. Yeah. He's a liar. He's a liar. Oh, yeah. Why did you sleep with him? Just stupid. I see. Very stupid. And now he could be. And it's not like I don't feel sorry for it or I regret it every day. That's why I came out to her and told her it. But if he's going to sit there and lie about it, he ain't even a freaking man. Whatever. You have another possibility of, uh, of somebody being the father of your child. Yes, right? uh, my boyfriend, Derek. Oh. 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 At the time. He was my boyfriend. At the time. You're not. You're, and I can find people to be I think with Derek me. wants to be the father, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does. And he's and always. You want Derek to be yes, the father. Yes, he's and but he wants to be the father. All right. First, first we're going to do the lie detector, then we're going to do the paternity, right? Is that right? Yeah. Lie detector test first. We'll see this. Okay. We asked you, are you in love with Mich Rochelle? You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> we, asked you, we asked you, when Rochelle goes into the hospital for surgery, do you have sexual intercourse with other women? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> we asked you, did you ever, we asked you ever tell Deanna going to leave Rochelle for her? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. And I knew that because I heard you say that. I heard you on we the phone talking to her. We asked you a relationship with Rochelle. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with her cousin Deanna? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie more than three times. Uh, guess what? Guess what? No. Listen, listen. You don't even need to come back to my house to get your because what you got on, you'd be lucky you get to go with that. to come to any of this, but obviously he can't even be man enough to tell you what he did. I mean, why are you even deserve better than that? Yeah, but if you know that, you shouldn't have slept with him. Yes, I know that. Two kids. We had two kids when them two slept together. We already had two. All right, we're going to have the paternity test well, exactly. right now. <laughs> when it comes to one-year-old Mackenzie, Derek, you are not the father. What? When it comes to one-year-old Mackenzie, Ryan is not the father. <laughs> you, glad? you don't want either of them to be the father anyways. You don't want either of them to be the father, right? I just can't deal with who is the father then. And as far as you're concerned, Michelle, I would just go my own way. Right. He's a good dad. He's a really good dad to our kids. He's. You're not the father, Ryan. Ha! Don't flip with me and lie. Kids, nasty ass.
She's come here to reveal a secret to her very own sister. I've been thinking about my fiance for a year. And it gets worse. I'm three months pregnant. Is Ray the father? It's a possible exit. Does your boyfriend know about it? He doesn't know yet. What will happen when her sister and then her boyfriend what? find out this unbelievable secret? She thinks her childhood sweetheart has a double life. Where is he going? How do I get out of here? Get out of here! I told you this before we came! These guests say their secrets have to come out today. Keeping secrets from your family is hard enough. What happens when your secret involves someone in your family? This is Takara. Takara's 20 years old. She has come here today to reveal two unbelievable secrets to her very own sister, Brittany. Now, before we hear these confessions, listen to Takara's story. My sister really means a lot to me. She's my best friend. We do everything together. Go out to eat, have girls time now, just everything. She's my best friend. She's my everything. I love her so much. I've been keeping a secret for a year, and it's really hurt me. I know these things are going to crush my sister, and I don't want to lose her because I love her more than anything. There's not a day that goes by that I <laughs> wish I can take back to what I did. I'm praying today that the secrets I have to tell my sister that she'll still love me and forgive me and still be my big sister and still be there for me like I was there for her. How do you think this secret's going to affect her? It's going to really hurt her because we don't keep secrets from each other. We tell each other everything. We go through, like, a lot of stuff together. So tell me your first secret. My first secret is... Um, I've been sleeping with her fiancé for a year. <laughs> Wait a second, Takara. You have a boyfriend? Yes. And you've been sleeping with her boyfriend, her fiance. Yes, sir. For a year. Yes, sir. I see. Cap on my well, his name is Raymond, and he's backstage too, and we're going to have him come out too. Tell the second secret. The other secret is that uh, I'm three months pregnant. <laughs> Is Raymond the father? It's a possibility that um, he's the father of my child. Oh. Yeah. Father, your boyfriend could be the father. Yeah. By the way, does your boyfriend know about you no, sleeping? No, he doesn't know yet. Oh. Well, you're going to reveal your secret to your sister. Uh, but first, listen to how Brittany, your sister, feels about hearing a secret. Sakar, you're my little sister. And you know I love you with all my heart. It makes me sad that you feel as though you have to keep a secret from me. I'm ready to hear what you have to tell me. We sisters to her, we blood. And I don't think there's nothing that you could tell me that could tear us apart. Here, everybody. Brittany, come on out. Nice to see you. Good to see you, Brittany. Have a seat. Are you surprised sister brought you here? Very surprised. Aww. I just can't believe she had to bring me all the way here to just tell me a secret. Okay. You want to tell your sister why you brought her here? I really didn't want to keep a secret from you because, you know, we tell each other everything. But my first secret is that I've been sleeping with Raymond for a year. Aww. I'm sorry. Why, I... Takara? Why you have to bring me here? All right, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please. Tell her the rest of the secret. The other part is secret that you know I'm pregnant. And I know that you'll be there for Oh, me. my God, Takara, don't tell me it's his baby. Please don't tell me that. Please, Takara. The baby might be Raymond. Oh, my God! Oh, my God, Takara, why? No. Don't be mad. I'm sorry. Oh my God, Takara, why would you do me like that? It just happened. I'm sorry. No. It just happened. How many times? Like 20. Oh my God. <laughs> 20 times, Takara. What did y'all do this? I'm not understanding the word. Well, we did it a couple. Of, we did it at my house. 
We did it in y'all bed a couple of times. Oh. <laughs> Brittany. I'm, I'm Brittany. sorry. Brittany, sit down because, <laughs> because Raymond wants to apologize. And he's here. Brittany, please so Raymond, here. come on out. Here's Raymond. <laughs> Apologize to him. Brittany, I'm sorry, baby. You ain't got nothing to say, for real. I'm sorry. No, you ain't got to say to me. You ain't got to say to me. Raymond. Well, I mean, as a hell. As a hell. I'm sorry, baby. No, man, no. Raymond. Who, who do you want to be with? I want to be with Brittany, sir. You want to be with Brittany? Yes, sir. Then why'd you get it up with her sister? Oh, it just happened, man. It don't just happen 20 times. 20 times? No, a mistake. 20 times? 20 times is not a one time is a mistake, but 20 times? You got me. I'm not stupid. It's not 20 times to be a mistake. All right. Now, Brittany, you're not the only one who doesn't know. Guess who also doesn't know? Her, her boyfriend. He doesn't know. That's his cousin. And that's his cousin. <laughs> Jason found out less than 24 hours ago that Takara was keeping a secret from him. He didn't know anything about So he's going to come out here now and find out the truth. Here's Jason, everybody. <laughs> Jason, you're kind of in shock, aren't you? Just a little bit. The car is very important to you? Yes, very important. You all going to have a child together? Yeah. Great. You ever think that the car would hold a secret from you? Never. We, we never, we always tell each other everything. Takara? Tell Jason what's been going on. Well, I need to tell you that I've been having a affair with Brittany's fiance for a year. What? Oh! <laughs> no, don't, well, I'm Tell him what I'm else, Brittany. You. The second part is secret that the baby might not be yours. Hey. Might be right. Oh! Well, we ought to find out once this baby uh, is born whose it is, right? Right. Okay? So if you all come back, we'll do a paternity test, and we'll tell you whether it's you or, or Raymond, okay? Is that all right? That's all right. Now, Raymond's your cousin. All right. Can you forgive him? I can forgive him. You, but not her? Not her. Wow. Well, that's funny, because you know what Brittany said? Brittany said she, he, she could forgive you, but not Raymond. You, well, can't be, you can't be with her. I can't be with her. Even if it's she... your child. If it's my child, I'll, I'll still be there for the child, but as far as me and her, I can't do it. No. It's not gonna happen. All right. Brittany, is there any chance you'd take him back? I ain't gonna, no, I, ain't gonna I can't, I can't, I, he, I can't, I can't take him back, Mari, I can't. You're not? I'm not gonna be with him, because it should never happen 20 times. 20 times? You can't let that happen 20 times. Okay. She's about to tell the love of her life. She's been giving sexual favors to another man for money. Oh! And that man may be the father of their baby. Oh, man. Is you serious? You couldn't talk about this? I don't want to hurt your feelings. How do you think I feel now? Is one the father? She thinks her childhood sweetheart has a double life. Where is he going? Oh, how do I get out of here? You're not alive. Up. I, I told you this before we came. The These guests say their secrets have to come out today. This is Tanya. Ten years ago, Tanya fell in love with this man, Juan. Now, not only does Juan care for Tanya's son from a previous relationship, but the couple was overjoyed when just three weeks ago, Tanya gave birth to their first daughter, baby Sian. 
Now, Tanya's happiness has been overshadowed by a secret, one that is so dark it threatens to destroy her family. Watch. My life has been so stressful since me and Juan met that I've made a lot of mistakes throughout the years of my life. I feel so guilty that I'm keeping a secret from Juan. Juan has not only been there for me for 10 years, he's been there for my son. He raised my son like he's his own. I just had my one-month-old daughter, and she gets so happy when Juan walks in the room. She smiles at him. Juan is an important man in my life. I don't want him to walk away when he hears whatever secret I have to tell him. So he was really excited, wasn't he? Yes. He had that baby. Is that his first child? Yes, my dad. It's his first child. His only child? Yes. What do you think he's going to do about hearing this secret? I'm afraid he's going to leave. What's the secret? The secret is that I've been cheating on him for four years. How many men did you cheat on him with? I cheated on him with two men, Mark. Aww. Right before I got pregnant, I had with another oh, man one Oh, my time. Lord. So you don't know uh, whether he's the father? No, Mark, I don't. <laughs> I feel so bad why did, about it. If you feel this way about him, why did you do it? Because I wanted to, I wanted us to be together, Mark. I didn't want the financial problems that we were having to break us up. Oh, I see. So the fella that you were seeing for like four years or something like that, he was helping out. Yeah, we were. Ha we had an agreement that I would do sexual favors for him in return <coughs> for him to help me pay my bills. And then this other guy was what, a one, nine, one time? One, yeah, it was one a one time, time thing. He offered to pay me and I offered to give him a sexual favor. And so let me ask you this. Is it right around the same time he, yes. you got pregnant so it could be one of three men who's the father? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it just, it breaks my heart because I look at them together and it runs through my mind that she may not be here. Well, we'll see what happens. Because Juan has to hear this. Here's Juan, everybody. A great dad. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you very much for coming. Have a seat. But now you got to hear a secret. You ever watch my show? You watch my show. Yes, I do. So you know, you know that when we have secrets, oh, very, very rarely are they good secrets. So, you want to turn to him? Tell him why you brought him here? I love you with all my heart and all my soul. I always have love that we ever been together. And I just wanted to come and tell you that I've been cheating on you for four years. Come on, man, is you for real? Come on now. Not just with one guy, but with two men. We were having financial problems, and I needed money to help us. And I offered to do... Hold on, hold on, when, when was this? You talking about when I lost my job last year? Well, than four that. years. It's been four years. So when did it start? Okay. Oh, hell. By the way, you're not seeing this guy still, are you? No. Tanya? No? Okay. Hold on, you said, you said more than one guy. Tell me more about that. Well, right before I got pregnant with Siani, I had sex with another guy, and it was a one-night stand. He offered to pay me, and I offered to do sexual favors for him. And... Here's the real big deal, Juan. You got to listen to this. I wanted to tell you that it's a possibility that Siani may not be yours. Man, I ain't trying to hear that, man. Is you serious? Come on, man. The whole nine months, you wait to now to tell me that? Is you for real? Come on, man. Juan, please sit down. Because there's one thing, there's one thing that we can do. We can do a DNA test and we can show you whether you're the father or not. You want that test done? Yeah, that's what's up. You've loved her a long time. Do you understand the reason why, the reason why she did this? She says there wasn't any emotion in this, it wasn't any feelings in this, it was to give you all a better life. Is that right? And I don't want to fight her battles. I don't want to fight Tanya's battles. 
But that's why she said she did it. You couldn't come to me? You, we couldn't talk about this? What, am I that hard to talk to? Seriously. No, I just didn't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> what you, how you think I feel now? I just want to let you know I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean for this to happen. My daughter, yo. My daughter. Now I don't even know. Is you? We're gonna know. Juan, we're gonna know. We're gonna know within 48 hours, okay? My daughter. I, I'm sorry. Yo. I can't believe this, man. A secret, though? We ain't better than that? She cheated on him for money. Is Juan the father? If I read that you are the father, things gonna be okay? Yeah. Juan, she thinks her childhood sweetheart has a double life. He's always running out of gas. Where is he going? You're not messing around in another town. No, of course I'm not. The lie detective determined. How do I get out of here? You're not lying to These guests say their secrets have to come out today. Amanda. Amanda fell in love with Levi when she was 11 years old. I mean, really? 11. Amanda's devastated because after 11 years and a beautiful child named Dayton, their life together is beginning to fall apart. Amanda believes Levi is sleeping with other women and suspects he's even cheated in their own bedroom while she's at work. <laughs> and she also thinks that Levi is leading a secret double life and may have another girlfriend out of town. This is her story. I have been with my boyfriend Levi since we were 11 years old. We were childhood sweethearts. Just three months ago, things started changing, and I think he's living a double life. I check the mileage in the car every day, and it always changes 50, 60, 70 miles over. I think he's seeing another girl. I found earrings in the car, and they didn't belong to me. He's always running out of gas, and I'm always filling up the tank. Where is he going? I think he even has girls in my house while I'm at work. When I think about him cheating on me, I'm devastated. Levi is my best friend, and we have a beautiful baby together. He's all I have in this entire world. If he's cheating, everything I ever wanted will all be taken away. Since 11? Yes, Maury, since 11. I mean... He's my, my... everything. He's my best friend. At 11, he was? Yes. How did you have these feelings so early in life? <laughs> because we spent a lot of time together. We was always together. We did everything together. We had a baby. I got pregnant when I was 15. And <laughs> he's... Is he, is he a good dad? He's a wonderful father. He does everything for his kids, everything. You found out about this like three months ago. Just the last three months, everything's been different. Why? It ain't... Because, Maury, he, I fill up the gas tank that he can't come get me from work because there's no gas in the car. I found earrings in the car. He comes home smelling like perfume, Maury. Girls call my phone at 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, and as soon as they hear my voice, they hang up. I go in there and wake him up and make him call back, Maury, yeah. and they'll answer for him. But as soon as I call him, they want to hang up. So we gave Levi a lie detector test. This is what he had to say before the show. I've been with Amanda for 10 years. She's the love of my life. She gave birth to my child, and I'm here today to prove that I'm not cheating. And when this test proves that I'm not cheating, I want an apology from Amanda and for her to back off and give me my space. Whoa, here's Levi. Levi, come on out. Now, Levi, you're not messing around in another town with another woman, are you? No, of course I'm not. I mean, I don't know where she's she comes checking out. the mileage. I don't, I don't know where she comes up with that. Why isn't there any in the gas tank? I mean, because gas you're is cheating? expensive. Because you're cheating. Gas is expensive. Because you're going to see the girl that calls your phone at one, two, three o'clock in the morning. I walk in the house and the bedroom That's... smells like sex. He smells oh. like perfume. And we're gonna find out right now. We asked you, Levi, do you feel trapped in your relationship with Amanda? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! You are lying! You feel trapped? You feel trapped? You feel trapped? So of leave course, then. when you're accusing leave me of everything then. all the time. Why'd you left if I you... Mean, all you do Why'd you left if you feel trapped? Because 
I love you, that's why. We asked you, you don't love me. If you love me, you wouldn't cheat on me. If you love me, you wouldn't be feeling trapped. We asked you when you tell Amanda you're going out on the four-wheeler, are you really out cheating on her with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh. Oh. We asked you when Amanda is at leave. work, do you use the car to go visit another girlfriend? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh. You failed everyone! Everyone! Oh. Every oh. Everyone! Oh, I ain't standing right here, man. Oh. Will she be able to leave her childhood sweetheart for good? No. <laughs> Sammy has no idea that Karen cheated with another man and got pregnant. But she has an even bigger secret. I just took my wedding money and got an abortion with it. Oh, oh come on. Oh. Maury. These guests say their secrets have to come out today. Three years ago, my next guest, Karen, came on our show to reveal a devastating secret to her fiancé, Sammy. A secret that she feared would rip their family apart forever. Now, before we find out the shocking reason why Karen and Sammy are back today, this was their first appearance. You love this woman, you love your child. Yes, sir, I that's do. A, that's a big deal you having a child, isn't it? Yes, sir. All these years, I was waiting for that. You want to tell him why you brought him here? I had an affair at the time we started, and Sammy Jr. might not be yours. What? You want a DNA test? Yes, sir. Sammy, you are the father. Yes! Now, believe it or not, Karen's back. And she needs to tell Sammy two more outrageous secrets. Oh. What's the first secret? After the show, the last time I was here, I had told, I gave him my word, I would never see this guy again. I've been cheating on him with the same guy. Oh. And I ended up pregnant. You ended up pregnant? Oh. By the other guy? Yeah. What did you do? I just took my wedding money and got an abortion with it. Oh! So the money that Sammy was saving yeah. for you all to get married. Yes, 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 yes. What do you think is going to happen now? Well, no, that's what I'm afraid of. I think this time, I think he's going to snap this time. I don't know. This is what Sammy had to say about hearing another secret from you. Karen, you broke my heart on the first show. I hope you're not going to break it a second what? time. I thought we started over. I thought we were the family. I thought you'd never keep secrets from me anymore. You and our son mean a whole lot to me. And I hope your secret don't break us up again. All I want to do is marry you. I've been saving my money every day to give you the perfect wedding. If this secret destroys me, our wedding is off. I cannot marry a liar. Here's Sammy. Sammy, come on up. Nice to see you. Good to see you, sir. Nice to see you. Sammy, I just, I just saw a picture of your boy. Oh, How yeah. cute is he, huh? Yeah, Three you. years old. Yeah. Look at him. Look at that picture. Huh? Yeah. What's his name? Sammy Davis Jr. Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> you want to marry Karen, right? You've been saving up. Yeah, I've been saving money for yeah. for a wedding. We wasn't getting married on my son's birthday next year. What happened when what happened when you heard that she wanted to tell you a secret again? Oh, uh, I was I was feeling kind of down, but I said uh, she didn't supposed to keep no secrets from me or nothing because that was her word. But Karen. I told her I'd come to the show and see what it is 
But I hope it doesn't break our family apart, whatever the secret is. Karen, tell him. I'm hoping you feel in your heart to forgive me. My first secret is, I still been seeing the guy that was seeing last time we went to show. Come on, man, no. And my second secret is, I used, I used our money for our wedding to get an abortion. Oh, come on. Please, 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 come on, please, please, no, 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 no. Why would you do that to me? I went to work, Sam. I didn't mean to hurt you. I went to work and get all of that money for me, you, and Sam. I know, Sam, I know. It's just a mistake. It's just a mistake. It's a mistake, Sam. Mistakes don't happen like that. It won't happen no more. It won't happen. Mistakes don't happen like that. It won't happen no more, Sam. This is important. You got to, Karen, you just can't end it. You got to know why you do it. And we'll fix you up back home with some counseling to be able to answer that question. Now the question comes, becomes with Sammy, are you going to be able to do it all over again, Sammy? Be able to forgive. Please forgive me. Forgive me, Sammy. I don't think so. Please forgive me. Please, uh, okay. please forgive me. Please. I might. I'm going to think about it. We got to work on this. Okay. Very, very hard. We got to work on it. Okay. It. She cheated on him for money. Is Juan the father? Juan. Will she be able to leave her childhood sweetheart for good? No. <laughs> These guests say their secrets have to come out today. Now, a week ago, Juan's world was shattered when his girlfriend of 10 years revealed a devastating secret. You see, Juan discovered that Tanya had cheated on him with two different men and that he might not be the father of their one-month-old daughter, Siani. Look at her. Now, we've given them all a paternity test, and we're going to have the results. But first, it's been like a week, Juan. How do you feel? It's been rough, man. What does this result mean? <clears throat> well, for me, it just, it just, for me, it means whether do I have a daughter, don't I have a daughter? Cause Wait a I second. Can... You don't think you'll be a father to that child if you're not the father? No, Maury. I've really? been down this road once with her already. So you think it'll be over between the two of you? I ain't gonna necessarily say it's over, but right now, I don't know, Maury. Anything you want to tell him, Tanya, before I, re I read the results? I want to start by saying I'm sorry. I made a mistake, and no matter what the results are, I still want you to forgive me and understand that I didn't do this intentionally to hurt you. If I read that you are the father, things gonna be okay? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's find out right now, Juan. All right. <laughs> In the case of one month old, Sian, Juan, you are not. Think about this. I want you to think about the fact that you've been there throughout this pregnancy, and you've been there with it for one month with this little girl. Man, she took me through hell the last nine months, man. Boy, you don't know for real. She, she's in a lot of pain, Juan. She's in a lot of pain. I am too. I know. I know. I understand that. You're both hurting real bad. Both of you are hurting. Right. I ain't hurt nobody but my daughter. Now I don't even know who she belongs to. Will she be able to leave her childhood sweetheart for good? No. These guests say their secrets have to come out today. Early, a lie detector proved to Amanda that the man she's loved since she was 11 years old has cheated on her. That was a lie. Backstage, 
Amanda begged him to come clean and admit the truth. I'm not gonna apologize though. Why? I I'm do like, everything. I know us. you do, and I love everything. you. But I didn't do nothing. If you love me, why do you feel trapped? I love you, and you do this to me. I don't know if I can forgive you. Forgive me for what? I didn't do nothing. Maybe I love you. I love you. We can work this out. It looks like these two are going to stay together as a couple. Until next time, America. Jamie told me she was with another guy when she got pregnant with Bryson. And I questioned Skylar because she has lied to me so much in the past. I heard rumors that Jamie has slept with my friends and family members, but she swears she hasn't, but we're gonna find out today. If I find out Jamie's lied to me, I'm gonna feel upset and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really hope Jamie's being honest and I hope I don't get hurt. He don't Ooh. want to get hurt, but he I He doesn't am. want to get hurt, does he? He but doesn't I want to get hurt. And, I'm still and you hurt. brought him back and into I'm the house. Yeah. Here's Byron. Byron, come on. <laughs>
case of one and a half year old Bryson Byron. You are not. <laughs> If you want to find out who the father was, do you have an idea who it might be? Where's Byron? I don't even want to talk to you. I'm sorry. I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. Leave this room. I don't even want to talk to you. Leave. Leave. I don't want to talk to you. I'm Everything that I looked over. I know my. I know one of the kids are mine. That's it. I, we can deal with that. We can be. We can be parents of kids. That's all I want to do. Everything I looked over, the decoy, the strippers, the prostitute, I look over all of that and you're not willing to look over this? I'll leave it. Oh, oh, no, I'm down. Kenosha says the sex life with her boyfriend used to be out of this world. I used to have sex eight times a day, do you hear me? Eight times a day, boy. She thinks he's still having an incredible sex life, but with her best friend, Victoria. He tried to have a threesome with my best friend. A lie detector test will expose the most scandalous results of the year. <laughs> Followed by the most shocking backstage moment ever. Babe! Get out of my house! For more information on DNA paternity testing, call DNA Diagnostic Center at 1-877-DNA-CENTER. Secrets and sex scandals exposed. Next. Everyone, this is Kenosha. Welcome Kenosha to the show. Now, for, for five years, Kenosha has devoted her life to her soulmate, Kutta. And together, they are raising a son together, and they should be planning their future. But you see, Kutta is a rapper, and Kutta writes songs about sleeping with other women. Oh. Now, Kutta, you know, says, that's music, not reality. But, you know, what was real was the time Cutta asked Kenosha to have a threesome with her best friend, Victoria. So, is Cutta cheating with groupies and Victoria? Well, Kenosha says she's going to find out today. Watch this. I've given up everything for my boyfriend, Cutta, but I am fed up. We have a three-year-old son together, and this man was dying for me when I ain't have nobody. But now I know he's doing me wrong, and I can't take it no more. Cut likes to spend his time in the studio. He say he got all these female groupies want to buy his CD. These girls telling me they trying to get some from my man. Now the worst thing about all this, I think he done slept with my best friend Victoria. This has ruined my friendship with Victoria, and I miss her. I want us to go back to the way we were. I gotta have answers. If Cut says this test, he's getting out of my house and out of my life. <laughs> to you something last night, didn't he? Yeah, he did. What did he admit to you? He gonna tell me that he is attracted more to my best friend, Victoria, but he said, but he said that it's only because that I argue with him about her all the time. You really think they've done something? I really do. Maury, one night the lights went out at my house. It was a power outage. Me and her downstairs having fun, chilling. He comes downstairs, how about he grabs her right on her hips and said, you should get some hand cream tattoo right here. You are my friend. When he put his hands on your hip, what you supposed to do? What you supposed to do? What you supposed to do? Then you say, your sex life is fun. I used to have sex eight times a day. Do you hear me? Eight times a day, boy. Now I'm, be, I'm lucky if I'm getting three. Wait a second. Wait a second. That's a Guinness Book of Records to Man, me, Ben. Do you, hear me? Do you, you hear don't me? understand. Do you hear me? But serious. Early on in your relationship, what did he want to do? He tried to have a threesome what? with my best friend and then offered, offered her money. Offered her money to do it. I had to let him know you was gonna get down like that. 
I mean, he's got some answers to all of this. We might as well. I don't want to hear none of you got to say, because he ain't got no answers for me. The test got answers for me. The test got answers for me, not him. This is what he had to say. I love Kenosha so much, but I just cannot get no peace. She's trying to get me to admit to cheating, but I can't admit to something I don't know about. Now, Kenosha think I slept with her best friend, Victoria. That ain't never happened. One time I did touch her friend, Victoria, and I apologized for that. I knew I was wrong. Once I proved to Kenosha I'm not cheating, I want us to have a clean slate. Welcome, Kyle. <laughs> You love this I'm man? I'm not for the go through. No more. Hey, you know I ain't doing nothing. So stop all this nonsense. None of that. None of it. None just, of just, it. Just, you love him. I love him more. You love her. Yeah, she know I love her. I do anything for the good, more. I'll tell you one thing: you're not doing for her, Cutter. You're not doing eight times a day anymore. <laughs> what you saying? What you saying? What you saying? Have you been messing with Victoria? Man, I ain't never messing with that good. Oh. I ain't got no time for no nonsense I, like that. I ain't got time you know, for his nonsense. I got nonsense. better things to do with my life instead of More, seeing you messing with my best friend. You I, haven't made passes? If he got better time in his life I'm to saying do that, that why he grab hot and that stuff that before her, so why are they going to fight? Why are they going to fight? Now, that was before her. Now, go with it now. No, no time to do You come All right, everybody. Here's the best friend, Victoria. Welcome. Sit down. What's going on here? She already knew. Nothing. Call this Nothing. my best friend. When Nothing. he touched her, Nothing. she was both say, "Don't put your hand on me." Look at my friend. That's why. You know what? That's her man. That's her man. She was supposed to put her man in place. What you're saying, Victoria, is you have never messed with him. Never. Well, guess what? I don't. I'm going to find out right know. now. You were asked during your relationship with Kenosha, have you ever tried to have sexual contact with her friend Victoria? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. You were asked during your relationship with Kenosha, have you ever had any sexual contact of any kind with Victoria? You said no, the lie detector determined. You're telling the truth. You were asked during your relationship, Kenosha, Kata, have you ever had sexual intercourse with any woman who's coming to your home looking for you? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> Kenosha, have you ever had sexual intercourse with any of your groupies? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. What the? <laughs> baby, 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 they lying, man. I swear to God, they lying. They is lying. I swear to God, they lying. They ain't lying. They ain't did nothing. They ain't did nothing. They ain't did nothing now. Listen to me, I ain't did nothing, baby. Kenosha, I swear to God, I ain't did nothing. Come on, I can't come on, breathe. Come on, come on. All right, come I on. Breathe. One, one more. One more. You were asked during your relationship with Kenosha, have you ever brought another woman you had sexual intercourse with around the son you have please with her? No. Please, please, please say no. Please say no. Please say no. 
please say no, please. He please. said no, the lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, 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 you know that's not for lie now. Come and sit. Come and sit. Now you don't want to do no stuff like this. That's enough. That's enough. You don't want to do no stuff like this. It's enough. Man, you know that's a lie, man. man don't talk to me, you hard man, bitch. That's a lie. I know. I man, know. You know that's a lie. Man, get him away from me, Lord. Man, that's please. a lie, baby. Please, I don't want to do nothing like that, man. Please, Lord. Baby, sweetheart, please, you know I want to do man. no stuff. Just get away from you me. You know I want to do no stuff. The drama is nowhere near over. One of the most shocking backstage moments is coming up. Baby. This couple just got married and had a baby. But she caught him talking to another woman online. As he's insistent, he has done nothing wrong. No, I what will this lie detector test reveal? Don't lie to me! You lying now! Secrets and sex scandals exposed. Next. Everyone, this is Monica. Welcome, Monica, to this. Now, Monica and her husband, Ethan, they should be just riding high. They have a brand new baby. Look at them. But then, after getting phone calls from two separate women claiming to be pregnant by Ethan. Cloud Nine has turned into a thunderstorm of rage. Because not only has Monica found an empty condom wrapper in their bush outside the house, one time Monica found a sex soiled shirt crumpled up in the back of Ethan's car. Didn't he admit to doing something on the computer? Yeah, he admitted that he was talking to other women. Sexting other women. He didn't tell me that much. Oh, he didn't say no, it was that much? No, I suggest, I said, I thought that it was. I asked him if it was. He said he was talking to other women. He never went into detail like that. Where did he get these women? I mean, where did he get them? He was going to bootycall.com. He was going to... I didn't even know there was a oh, booty yeah. call. Look it up. Coming. Look it up. What did you find in the bushes outside? In the bushes, I found an open condom wrapper. An open condom wrapper. Well, Ethan has a different story. This is what he told oh, my producer. I guarantee he does. Well, every morning I wake up and uh, I get to look at my beautiful wife and smile because uh, my day is instantly starting out amazing. There's not a doubt in my mind that I love this woman with all of my heart. I made a huge mistake. It was something childish that never should have happened. Uh, I had a relationship with a woman I was talking to via the internet. You know, that's as far as it went, I swear. I try my best to be a great father, and Monica's the only woman I would ever want to be a mother to my children. I know I brought this mistake on myself, and it does worry me that Monica hasn't been able to move past it yet. I want nothing more than to spend every day with Monica and show her how much I love her. Everyone, welcome Ethan to the show. Here he is. Wait a second. Wait a second. Mm. Just wait. Wait a second. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be you too You all have a newborn. You love being yes. a dad, don't you? Yes, I do. He's a good dad, isn't he? He is a fantastic father, but a lousy husband. Oh. <laughs> Could anybody be pregnant with your child right now? There is nobody pregnant with my child, more. There's no way it's happening. Okay. He can't honestly get much of a fool. No, Do you I honestly don't. think I'm that much of a fool? No, I don't. <laughs> Well, guess what? We will find out. Because he's insistent he has done nothing wrong. Okay? <laughs> like most men. Okay. We asked you, did you get another woman pregnant during your relationship with Monica? You said no. The lie detector determined you are telling the truth. Yeah. Right, there's still more. <laughs> we asked you, other than the time you admitted to having an online relationship, have you ever contacted women on MySpace in order to have sex with them? You said no. The lie detective determined that was a lie. <laughs> we asked you, have you ever had sex with another woman 
while Monica was pregnant with your child. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> Imagine if you came back from a vacation alone to find this. Strange stains on her sheets. <laughs> and this. Another woman's bra on her bedroom floor. Look at this. Yeah, I know. And look at me. Uh -uh. This don't fit. Did he have secret sex in her house while she was away? We're going to see what the lie detector test like. Lie detector determined. Secrets and sex scandals exposed. Next. Everyone, this is Brittany. Welcome, Brittany, to the show. So, a year ago, Brittany returns from a vacation. And there weren't any flowers on a nice dinner table from her fiance, Jimmy. But you know what there were? There were strange stains on her sheets. Sadly, Brittany's discoveries got increasingly worse. Next, she found another woman's bra on her bedroom floor. <laughs> and then when she put two and two together, she realized that her fiancé may have cheated with one of her own family members. <laughs> and if that wasn't bad enough, and if that wasn't bad enough, then Jimmy did this. He came home without his underwear. <laughs> He said he had an accident. That's what he said. What kind of accident? He said he unpeed on himself. <laughs> now, you unpeed on yourself, but you're a man, right. and you have a penis. <laughs> you can <laughs> and you can pee. You can pee. You can pee. I was only 16 when I first met Brittany. But from that moment on, I knew I was going to spend the rest of my life with her. I know Brittany found numbers and suspicious texts in my phone, but I be letting my friends use my phone. Brittany found some red stains on our sheet, but I can explain. I cut my finger and I was trying to find a band-aid and it leaked on the bed. My girl found some pennies in a bra. I don't know where they came from. I know I wasn't cheating. Brittany, I don't know what type of guy you think I am, but I'm not a cheater. And I love you more than anything in this world. And I hope you realize that today. Everybody, here's Jimmy. Welcome, Jimmy. You smell like fish, though. You smell like fish. 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 No. It, isn't she a lovable woman? Yeah. I so love why her. you smell like fish? Why oh. you smell like fish? I work in the kitchen. I right. cook. But you, you come know. on, smell like fish. People want a sushi, whatever sushi. I'm cooking, they, they want it. They ain't smell like no sushi. Guess what? We got the test. We got the test. <laughs> I'm telling you, you smell like bologna. We're going to see what the lie detector test like. Okay. Your ass were the underwear and bra that Brittany found in your house from a woman you cheated on Brittany with. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> you were asked when Brittany found a stain on your bed sheets, was it from cheating on her with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> You were asked when you came home with no boxers on and you had an accident, were you really cheating on Brittany? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> you were asked during your relationship. For real? You were asked during your relationship, have you ever had oral sex with one of her family members? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> Yeah, 
living my life. Mm. We went to prom, everything. I want both of you to meet with yeah. my counselor before you go home. Yeah. Okay. Damn. I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry, man. man. Get out of me, Jimmy. Dolly's 57 years old. Her daughter saw her husband's car parked at a local motel. He claims he's innocent of cheating. Dolly's daughter says you're hooking up with prostitutes. But he's about to come out with a confession that will turn this story inside out. You know, I have slept with your daughter over five times. Mario was brought to you in part by... Secrets and sex scandals exposed. Next. Everyone, this is Dolly. Welcome, Dolly, to the show. Now, Dolly's 57. She and her husband, Russell, should be, you know, preparing for retirement. They shouldn't be preparing. They shouldn't be preparing for divorce papers. You see, Dolly believes that after 10 years of marriage, Russell is being unfaithful. She thinks that Russell is spending their Social Security money on cheating with prostitutes. In fact, her own daughter, Carla, has seen Russell's car parked outside of shady motels. <laughs> Dolly discovered sexy underwear and a sports bra in Russell's vehicle, and she's determined today to uncover the truth. What do you mean you, you found a sports bra and panties in Russell's car? I was cleaning the car out? Yeah. This is what I found. <laughs> I don't wear things like this. He... <laughs> and then what happened when you dis what did you discover in his underwear? He didn't have no underwear. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> In other words, he went out with underwear, came back with no underwear. He said he had an accident, so he took well, him off. Well, but a 55-year-old man don't have well, wait a minute. I hate to tell you this, but Dolly, when guys get old, they leak. Yeah, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> this is what Russell had. My marriage has been totally destroyed, and I've been booted out of the house, and my heart is totally broken. Our sex life it went down the hill, and that's when all the problems began. Dolly is constantly on my back, and it hurts me that she doesn't trust me anymore. Sometimes I feel that my heart is really crumbling on the inside, and all I want to do is just save my marriage. His heart is crumbling on the inside. Yeah. Here he is, Russell. Russell, come on. <laughs> Dolly's daughter says you're hooking up with prostitutes. Oh. Yeah, well, do I look like I wore this? Do I? You think you're spending your social security money on women? Yeah, I believe you do think that. Well, are you? Yeah. 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 Uh, 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 sometimes, sometimes. This is what Carla had to say. Watch, the daughter. Seeing my mom down and out kills me. She's a good woman with a good heart. What's worse, my own stepfather, Russell, is the one causing this pain. Russell is nothing but a low-down piece of garbage. I have seen Russell's car parked outside of motels. I know he's paying prostitutes for sex. I'd be damned if he thinks he can get away with this. When you fail this test, my mama's getting a divorce, and you can go to hell. All right, everybody, here's Carla. Carla, come on out. Here he is. Enough, we're gonna find out the uh <laughs> Russ
Russell, when you sat down with my lie detector administrator, Ralph, hi, Ralph, <laughs> you made an admission that was really shocking. Yes, I did. What, what did you want to confess and tell Dolly? Well, to tell you the truth, you know, I have slept with your daughter over five times. <laughs> We asked you when you came way. home and your around. underwear was missing, was it because you were having sex with another woman? You said no, the lie detector determined. You know, I slept with your daughter over five times. Is he telling the truth or is he lying? The incredible results are next. That was a lie. <laughs> One of the most shocking backstage moments ever is coming up. Mari was brought to you in part by Secrets and Sex Scandals Exposed. Next. You found a sports bra and panties in Russell's car? This is what I found! I don't wear things like this! What did you discover in his underwear? He didn't have no underwear! Oh, my God. He went out with underwear, came back with no underwear. He said he had an accident, so he took well, it off. Well. But a 55-year-old man don't have well, an wait accident. Wait a minute. How can you do this after 10 years? Why, well, since I've been there for you. Seeing my mom down and out kills me. She's a good woman with a good heart. What's worse, my own stepfather, Russell, is the one causing this pain. You are a cheater, a liar. What did you want to confess and tell Dolly? Well, to tell you the truth, you know, I slept with your daughter over five times. <laughs> Here we go, Russell. Go clean with it. We asked you when you came way. home and your around. underwear was missing. Was it because you were having sex with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Okay. We asked you... Did you have sex with another woman the night Carla saw your car parked outside a motel? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Yes! Oh, I told you! Have you ever used your Social Security money to pay prostitutes for sex? You admitted to our lie detector administrator you did. Why, Russell? We asked you, did you have sex with the woman who left the G-string panties Dolly found in your car? You said to the administrator you did have sex with that woman. We asked you, during your relationship with Dolly, have you ever had sex with her daughter, Carla? You admitted to our lie detector administrator you did five times. I did not have sex with this man. I did not touch this man. But was that true or lie? I mean, what? Ralph? Sorry, he's telling the truth. He's telling the truth? She's lying. That was a lie. It was one of the most scandalous lie detector results of the year. And now, one of the most shocking backstage moments ever is next. Babe! Babe! Get out of my house! Secrets and sex scandals exposed. Next. Earlier, Kenosha came to the show because her sex life with Cutta was not what it used to be. I used to have sex eight times a day, do you hear me? Eight times a day, She thought he was still having an incredible amount of sex, but behind her back with her best friend, Victoria. He tried to have a threesome with my best friend. Everyone came out to hear the results of a lie detector test, which proved Kenosha's boyfriend has never cheated with her best friend. You're telling the truth. But the test determined he has been cheating on her with other women. Get off of me. Get off of me. 
and that he's even brought one of those women around their child. Please say no. Please say no. The lie detective determined that was a lie. You know there's nothing lie now. I told you six. Backstage after the show, was there any chance this couple could find a way to stay together? She's hurting. You know what she wants to hear from me right now? Because you know what? She suspected it. She thought it. Man, but she I ain't felt. did it. I ain't got no time for no girl. That's an extra bill. What I want an extra bill for? I promise you, man. I ain't never cheated on you, baby. Baby. Baby, you know I ain't never cheated on you, baby. Get out my life. Get out my house. You know I Security made sure that this couple was kept far away from each other. I knew it the whole time. I knew it the whole time. I gotta leave him alone. I gotta get him out of my life. I'm gonna get him out of my life. Ooh. Ooh. It looks like Kenosha has made her decision. We wish her the best of luck. Until next time, America. Shh, <laughs> shh,